Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and this is a Call of Duty gameplay. Um, just kind of, you know, I had that top five series with Call of Duty gameplay, and this is just gonna be a, this is gonna be a video, just a topic, and this is gonna be why Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. Um, I've got some facts here. Um, did a little bit of research during my one of my classes where we don't do anything. Um, so I did a little bit of research, came up with some numbers and some reasons why, and we'll go over this. Okay, so we're going to start out with receivers. So Peyton Manning had Harrison, uh, Marvin Harrison, who he hooked up with so many times, it's not even funny, and Reggie Wayne. He also has Demarius Thomas and Wes Welker now. Um, Mo Montana had uh, Jerry Rice. I don't think he had, he didn't have him for all his, I don't, I don't think so. He had him for a lot of his years. Um, let me know. I, I'm pretty sure he had him for like 90% of his years. Uh, Brady has really only had Moss and Welker. I guess you can count Dion Branch, but he only had Moss for one year. He's only he only had Welker for three or four. You could count Gronkowski, I guess, but he's only had him for two or three. He really hasn't had that staple wide receiver for a long time. Uh, moving on to the playoffs that they've missed. Uh, Brady has only missed it once in 2002. Manning missed it twice in 98 and 2001, and Montana missed it in 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and 82. Um, these are all stats that I got from, I forget what website. Uh, if you just type in, like, Tom Brady record or something like that, any kind of like that, or 49ers record, you'll find the websites that I used. Um, but those are the years that they missed the playoffs. Uh... I'm comparing the three people that I've heard most when I make a comment on Twitter about Tom Brady being the best. People bring up Manning and Montana. Some kid brought up Eli Manning, but really, go look at his win record. Look at how many losing seasons he's had, interception issues, just stuff like that. Um, these are the three guys I believe are top three. Um, and I'm going to go through this. Um, Ten plus win seasons. Keep in mind that uh, Manning has played two or three more years than Brady. Um, I have no, I forget how many Montana played, um, but keep in the, keep that in mind. Brady has 10 10 plus win seasons. Manning has 13, and uh, Montana had six kind of. He had a bunch of seasons where he didn't play all 16 games. He only had two seasons where he played all 16. He had a bunch where he played like 13, 14, 15. So I just went off the basis of how many games he played, how many games he started and his record. Uh, so it was six, sort of. And then losing seasons, uh, Brady has zero. Brady's only... The year he didn't make the playoffs, he went nine and seven. Uh, so he did... That was still a winning season. Uh, Manning missed it in 98 and 2001, and Montana missed it in 80 and 82. Or not missed it. He had a losing season in 80 and 82. 82 kind of. I think it was like... I think it was like... Uh, three and six or something, um, so kind of, uh, Brady has never been let go from the Patriots, Bron Manning was let go to go to the Broncos, and Montana was let go to the Chiefs, um, Brady has, the Patriots have kept Brady the whole time, um, next, the playoff record, uh, Tom Brady is 17 and 7 in the playoffs, Manning is 9 and 11, and Montana is 16 and 7, uh, so Montana and Brady are pretty close, uh, Brady, if you think about it, didn't lose those, so I'll get to that next. Uh, Brady is three wins in the Super Bowl, two losses. Manning's one win, one loss, and Montana's four wins. But think about those two losses that the Patriots have. I know there's a bunch of Giants fans or Patriots haters out there that are going to disagree with me, but if you run that simulation of what happened, I know what happened happened, and who cares. But, I mean, if you run that simulation a hundred times... 90, 90, 85, 90 of those games the Patriots win, 50% uh, of them they win both times. I mean, that came down to a final drive, if not for two miraculous Giants catches by Tyree and Manningham, uh, could have easily gone to the Patriots, or in the last Super Bowl when Gronkowski just dove a little too early, or a little too late, kind of late early, um, not on time, but it was a little late, a little early, if he would have dove at a good time, he would have actually caught that ball, um, and so you kind of got to eliminate Manning if you're go if you're going to bring Super Bowl wins into this because Montana Montana has four, Brady has three, and Manning has one. So you just got to kind of eliminate Manning if that's what you're going off of. Um, coaches, 
Uh, Brady has had Belichick, which arguably one of the greatest coaches ever. Montana had Bill Walsh, one of the greatest court coaches ever. And Manning had Tony Dungy, who is also a very good quarterback, and John Fox, who if some of you don't know, he did leave the, leave the Carolina Panthers to the Super Bowl against the Patriots, I believe. Was it against the Patriots, or was... Yeah, that was, that was against the Patriots. Um, their all-time records... Tom Brady is 140 and 39. Manning is 158 and 70, and Montana is 117 and 47. Uh, so Brady by far has the best record. I think Montana is better than Manning, but Manning has more wins. Um, and then Brady and Manning's head-to-head -head records: Brady has won five, Manning has won, or Brady has won eight, Manning has won five. They didn't play Montana, so I can't get anything off of that. Uh, MVPs. Uh, this is where Manning has the, this is league MVPs, this is where Manning has them. Um, Brady and Montana have two, Manning has four. Uh, Super Bowl MVPs, Brady has two, Manning has one, and Montana has three. Um, Manning won his only one, I think Montana lost one to Jerry, and Brady lost one to Deion Branch. Um, these are just some facts, uh, none of these include Montana because he didn't have any of these records. Uh, so Brady had the only 16-0 regular season uh, other than those Dolphins, who I believe that was before 16 games. I think they went 14-0, and um, and then they had the playoffs, which they eventually went undefeated. I think that was the 79 Dolphins. Um, Brady has 517 passing yards in a game, which is not the most. New Van Brocklin had 554, I think, but Brady is the most out of all of these guys. Manning had seven touchdowns in a game. Brady had one with six. Um, Brady has five had a season of 5,235 passing yards in a season. Uh, Drew Brees has the record at 554, 5,540, I believe. Manning had a 49 touchdown season. Brady holds the record though with a 50 touchdown season. But Manning may have something to say about that record by the end of this year. Um, Manning has 61,000 career yards. Brady has 46,000. Manning has 448 career touchdowns, and Manning has, or Brady has 344. Um, Monta Montana is not in the top 10 of any of these categories. Um, Brett Favre is the only one that's over Manning, and I think Manning, Brett Favre, and there's one more quarterback, I forget who it is, that is over Tom Brady for career touchdowns. There are a couple that are over Brady for passing yards, and I think Favre is the only one that's over Manning for passing yards. Um, they're 1-2 and two in the season touchdowns. Um, Manning stands alone with the touchdowns in a game, but you can count Brady. Uh, Manning nor Montana are anywhere near the 57 yards in a game, or 517 yards in a game. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my reasons why I believe Tom Brady is the best. If you guys want to try to explain to me why you think somebody else is the best, um, I would say it would be, my top five is Brady, Manning, Montana, um, I have to say Brett Favre. He holds, like... He's so, like, I, I don't know, he ended his, he was good in his past, like, if you go back, if you don't look at his, how he ended, you go back, his only really devastating loss, I guess, is when he got beat by Michael Vick and the Falcons in Lambeau. I mean, that's really a huge blemish, because the Falcons were terrible, they never won playoff games. That's Vick's only playoff win, I think. Um, so that, that's kind of a blemish, that's what I remember most about Favre and playoffs, but... He did have a good career. I'm, I do have to put him fourth. And if you guys want to go after Super Bowl wins, I have to say Otto Graham, but that's not who I'm going to say. I'm going to actually... I, I I don't know. I want to say Rodgers, but Rodgers really hasn't done much. I mean, he's got Super Bowl, won it. But, I mean, he's still young. We'll see. Uh, I, I don't really have a fifth. Um, so I'm just going to leave that one so I don't get yelled at. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And let me know... Uh, who you think is the best quarterback of all time. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.